Well, here we are on our new vlog. It's called the Morning Box. Uh, and we are just driving down the road, you know, hopefully. Blake, you aren't buckled up. No. Man, what? You know. <laughs> Sorry, bro. He's doing your boy. All right, and we're just gonna go to Waffle House real quick, cause I mean, who doesn't like Waffle? Oh, we hit something. Ah! Oh my God, it's on what the windshield. Oh. Nolan, go All get right. it, Nolan. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, what, what is that? What is that? <laughs> get it, get it. What is that? <laughs> you tell me what that is. I'm, I'm confused. You know, I ain't smart. What you know about linear functions? Linear functions are in the form of y equals mx plus b. Where m and b are constants. Uh uh. <laughs> That's so cool. Graphs of these functions are straight lines. And b is the y intercept. And m is the slope. Huh. Simple. We're back to the morning box. <laughs> I just found these and have these swords. They're pretty good. You, dude, turn around. Oh, pay sorry. attention. Matthew, pay attention. It's raining really hard. Oh my God. Oh. oh. <laughs> what was a that, shoe Blake? just flew in our window, but it's got something in it. I think it's a plow book. I think it's a message from God. What is Look it? Look at it. I think it's a quadratic function graph. What do you think it is, Matthew? What's it look like to you, Matthew? It's a quadratic function. The only thing the I know. The line is shaped like a parabola. Your turn. What do you think it looks like? I don't know, but I know the equation for this is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. You need to call the police. Um, and I know that the graphs are called parabolas, and this is the next simplest type of function after the linear function. Yeah, totally. And then, if it's a positive number, parabola's got up and up. If it's a negative number, it's got up and down. Yeah, there's some hitchhiker by our window. You think he knows anything about hey, quadratic loser. functions? Hey, loser, get in here. Following objects move along parabolic paths. Oh, is that why our shoe flew in our window? I think it is. Thanks. Good morning and welcome back to the Morning Box Show. We are down a member today in Only Jolly because he got left at Ocean Lakes Family Campground. We are on our way back home. To get him. To get him. We don't really know where he's at right now, so we're just kind of riding around trying to find him to see if... Wait, is that him right there? Yeah, I think uh, so. Why is he running towards us? No way! Oh, 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 oh no! That's my best friend! Oh no! What's his paper say, Jacob? Go get his paper! No! No, no! He got back in the car. He's got something in his hand! Jacob, what did it say? It says exponential. Exponential? What does he mean by exponential? Let's ask him if he knows anything. Oh. No, no, are you okay? Yeah. What? Nolan. Why did you take that thing out of my hand? What is it? What is it? It's the uh, exponential function. It's a y equals a b to the x. Wait, what else do you know about it? That x is an exponent and a and b are constants. I gotta get outside the car. I feel if the sick. base b oh, is God. greater than 1, yeah. then the <laughs> result is exponential growth. Are you okay? Many physical quantities grow <laughs> exponentially. E.g. animal populations and cash in an interest bearing account are examples <laughs> of an exponential. Alright, and we're back with the morning box after I quit visit the ER to find me and Ben. Oh, chill. Y'all chill. Buckle up, there's a cop. Oh, oh, snap! No, you can't buckle up. No, you don't get the buckle up. I want you to go to jail. <laughs> Why is the air conditioner not working? There's something in it. There's something stuck. What is that? Ew. Somebody's not right. Yeah, this mint tastes awful. It's the logarithmic. The logarithmic function. The logarithmic function. The equation is y equals 
X is a natural logarithm and A and B are constants. They are only defined for positive x. For small x, they are negative, and for large x, they are positive, but they still say small. This is my favorite song. Logarithmic functions accurately describe the response to of the human ear to sounds of varying loudness and response to human Logarithmic total, basically, that's how your ear works, is through a logarithmic function. You can grab that if you want. Nolan, bro, you stink. I can't help it. I just got done with it. Game of Smash Mouth football. <laughs> Shut up and put on some deodorant, please. Matthew, you gotta drive. I don't believe you. Wake up. Do I really smell bad boy? Put it on! Wish you played good. Huh. What is that? What the what heck is that? that? A cubic. What? What's a cubic? A cubic, the parent function of the cubic is f of x is equal to x to the third. In a cubic function, the highest degree on any variable is three. You start graphing the cubic function paragraph at the origin zero zero. From zero zero, you graph one one to the third power equals one one two two to the third equals two and eight. Yes, Good sir. job, Matthew. Uh, bro, you we great love today. cubic functions. Welcome back. It's currently just me and Matthew. The rest of the people are in the back asleep. Um, we're just about on about home. They're all snoring very loudly. And making cat noises. You need to wake them up. Uh, yeah, try up. to wake them up. Wake up! Ah! Whoa! All right. Nolan! Nolan, what is this? That is my mom. An absolute value with a V. Why do you have a V on a graph? Because it's, uh, it's the absolute value. It'll go do both uh, positive and infinities. Both left and The absolute value of a parent function is Y equals the absolute value of X. This turns all inputs non-negative, zero, or positives. To graph absolute value functions, you start at the origin and then each positive number gets mapped to itself, while each negative number gets mapped, mapped to its positive counterpart. This figure shows a graph of an absolute function. Show them, show them, show them. Look, this right here. This is an absolute function. Well, welcome back to the morning box after a Long trip. Long nap. I finally woke up and somehow he's got on a volleyball jersey. But it's I, crazy. Uh, yeah, but this was kind of a crappy trip all in all because yeah. it just didn't turn out good, which ended in an ER visit. Um, <laughs> functions kept messing with me. Yeah. But Those are just a few of them, too. That's yeah. not even all of them. Uh -uh. Just uh, Algebra 2, 10th grade standards. Yep. Yeah, it's ridiculous. But great standards are great standards. I hope our viewers learned something, man. Yeah, I sure hope so. I, mean, I, I did. That did. Viewer, uh, what's I didn't name? learn anything. Miss Kimbrel? Yeah. I hope she learned a lot. <laughs> this video was sponsored by Old Spice. Thank you. And the Upper Stars.